This is an impact test for the Earthco Megablock wall system. We are attempting to duplicate conditions that could be expected during an F5 tornado, which has the ability to turn 2x4s and bricks into flying debris traveling at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. These are the projectiles we'll be using uh, to shoot our wall with. The first one is a fence post. It's been cut down to 32 inches in length. It is five inches in diameter. I want to show that this fence post is, has got a few splits in it. And uh, the reason for that will become obvious here in just a few moments. Our second projectile is a Thurber brick. Weighs just a little over eight pounds. We are using a small black powder cannon to launch our projectiles and recording the launch speeds using a Pro Chrono digital chronograph. Results were recorded by a team of students from Texas Tech University's Mechanical Engineering Department as a senior design project. This 13 and a half pound post was launched at 129 feet per second or 88 miles per hour. The launch speed for our second post was recorded at 686 feet per second or 467 miles per hour and obviously our fence post came apart during launch. Irregardless, over 12 pounds of material shotgunned the wall at over 450 miles per hour doing only minor surface damage to the front side of the Earthco Megablock wall system. We are now preparing to launch our first paving brick, which was recorded at 1,084 feet per second or 739 miles per hour. Our second brick was traveling at 761 feet per second or 519 miles per hour and embedded itself into the wall system. Taking a picture of the back side of this mega block wall that we've been testing with our uh, little cannon, you'll see that we have a major crack up here at the top, here, and here, and the wall is pushed in. That was caused by a post of a five inch diameter, three foot long, traveling at a little over 450 miles an hour, slamming into the front side of this wall. And just below it, We've got a, another mega block that's showing some cracking and pushing in. That's where we impacted an eight pound brick on the other side, moving at 700 miles an hour. And then just below that, we have another brick impact at a little over 500 miles an hour. As you can see, these blocks are not the best blocks. We, we actually made some about as poor block as we could to do this testing. Very high clay content, uh, a lot of cracking during drying, uh, about as poor, probably poorer than we would ever put in a wall for a house. You can see we didn't try to make a good wall at all is what I'm trying to stress here. This is a very crudely built wall, but it withstood a tremendous amount of energy. There is no way an F5 tornado would ever throw a brick or a post to before this hard. And yet these walls are still structural. I mean they would still hold a roof up and if they'd have had a complete wall here and a roof load on it they would have performed much better than they did.